Hi, this is James Wandos. James, a wine guy here to celebrate this wine with you today. This is Goose Cross Cellars Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon from Howell Mountain. And this is a 2005 vintage, 13.8% alcohol content. Turn the back panel so you can see that as well. Now, this is a previous label. Uh, the current label is a little darker in coloration and um, just one goose on the label itself. I, I love this label. I think it's really beautiful. You look at it close, it looks like a monetary unit. Very cool. And look at that G. Very, very cool as well. Now, I think that this is a really special bottle because it's Hell Mountain. And for me, this is a really difficult bottle to open up because it's not because it was technically difficult. It's just I didn't want to open it up. But my lesson to myself has been I've opened up many a bottle past its prime. And I was absolutely disappointed. At least in this bottle, it's absolutely within its prime zone. And for me, that just makes all the world a difference to enjoy this bottle of wine. Um, I have seen so many people open up prestigious bottles of 1976 something. And um, to everyone's chagrin, it didn't survive. It was way past its um, drinking time. And I think that is the thing is that we have to remember today we live in probably the best wine time ever. We have the best quality. We have wines available from around the planet. And uh, I, I don't think we, 100 years ago, you wouldn't have had all the choices you have today. I don't think the quality would have been quite there. It would have been maybe even more uh, residual sugars. Maybe there would have been uh, just quality. Uh, time in barrel wasn't that great. Um, but again, I think we have great viticulture and great practices that go on today that create, create great bottles of wine. It's a little hard to say. Now, this bottle I opened up just a little bit ago. Beautiful rustic notes. Take time to scent this wine. Really smell it and, and envelop your, your nose. And, and what you're getting from this wine is just beautiful rustic notes. Leather, suede, uh, firewood. Uh, I would say that there is um, essence of uh, plum orchard where the plums fall to the ground in, in fall time and become part of the earth again. And that's a, a beautiful evocative scent that you can't get any other way. Now for me on the, on the taste profile, um, different notes as well. So I'll take a little taste and tell you what it's like. Take time to envelop. Take time to enjoy. Now from this wine I'm getting beautiful notes of dark cherry, um, brambled notes of uh, raspberry, blackberry, additional notes of marjoram, mint, a um, little white pepper on this, a little bit of um, what I like, ch a grilled chili ancho, smoked chili ancho. Beautiful wine. I give this wine a 9.4 out of a 10.0 scalp. For more reviews, please go to jamesawineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salute.